Welcome to a new week. This week we are going to be continuing our work on decimals. Um, I'm just going to start with Fluent in 5. A reminder before I do, on the website underneath the Year 5 tab there is a link to a PDF which you can download to fill in your weekly Fluent in 5 scores. Um, if you could please fill that in every day and then upload on Friday for your teacher. Okay, here is today's Fluent in 5. Pause the screen and give yourselves five minutes and then unpause for your answers. Here are today's answers. A little recap for you that this little two here means squared. So seven squared is seven times seven. If it was a three, that would be cubed, which would be seven times seven times seven and so on. So that might come up again this week. So a little reminder for you. Okay, continuing our work on decimals then, let's have a look at some number lines now to help us compare decimals. Okay, having a look at the textbook then. So these are the textbook pages. Uh, there'll be a few for you to fill in in a minute and then there'll be a practice as usual. Okay, so let's have a look then. The question is what is 0 0.1 more than 0 0.6? So we've got a number line here to show us. So at any point, you can of course draw a number line. An easy way to draw a number line in tenths. Um, if you've got a long ruler, it helps. But if you think of 10 centimetres as being a whole one, for example. So if I draw a line that's 20 centimetres long. Of course, if you've got squared paper, you won't need the ruler. You could just make the marks. And then I'm just going to make these little marks, a bigger mark at 10 and at 20. And that will give you a number line there. Or you can use a virtual number line. Our website for one is coming up on your screen now. And then you just label it. So uh, 0, 1 and 2 because the number we're looking at is 0 0.1 today. And then you can actually label all the intervals if you want wanted to. 0 0.1, oh, sorry, zero, yeah, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. 0.3, so this one is obviously split into tenths, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and remember it's 1, if you want to, you can think of it as 1.0, so they've all got the same amount of decimal places, but you don't need to, and then you could carry on. Okay, you, of course you don't need to label all the intervals, but if you're going to find it useful to draw your own number line, and label it then that's a good way to do it okay so back to here then so what is 0 0.1 more than 0 0.6 so we've got one tenth which is one tenth more than six tenths so we've got 0 0.6 on the number line the number line is split into tenths we're going to go one more on my number line because i've already labeled it here's 0 0.6 one tenth more takes us to 0 0.7 Okay, so 0 0.7 is 0 0.1 more than 0 0.6. And then B, what is 0 0.1 less than 1.6? Well, the same thing. On my number line, if I go to 1.6 and I want to go less, so I want to be going um, in this direction, then I'm going to go back along the number line to 1.5. So 1.5 is 0 0.1 less than 1.6. Okay. That's the one with the tenths then. So if you want to draw a number line with hundredths, I've done one ready to save a bit of time. So same thing, I drew the number line, I split it into uh, tens. This one was 30 centimetres, so I just did a little interval each one. And this time I've labelled every 10 as 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 because that's tenths, okay? So if I was going to work in the same way, what I would think is, right, okay, this is a tenth, and it's split into 10, so each one of these must be a hundredth. So I would have 0 0.01, 0 0.02, and so on. I'm just going to mark the midpoints, 0 0.05. Now, I mentioned this last time, um, 0 0.1, you would write as 0 0.1, but because we're using two decimal places, you might want to just put a zero on the end doesn't mean anything, doesn't add anything to the number, but it just means hopefully you can see the pattern moving on. So that's 0 0.10, this is going to be 0 0.15, this is going to be 0 0.25. Okay, you don't need this zero, but
but if it helps you to see the patterns between the numbers then absolutely you can use it. Okay, back to the question then. What is 0 0.01 more than 0 0.22? So I'll find 0 0.22 on my number line, here it is. And 0 0.01 more than is going to be here. And I know that that's 0 0.21, 0 0.22, 0 0.23. Okay, 0 0.23 is 0 0.01 more than 0 0.22. And going in the other direction, what is 0 0.01 less than 0 0.18? Well, I'll find 0 0.18. I'm gonna go one hundredth less. So I'm gonna go back along my number line. 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17 is 0 0.01 less than 0 0.18. So if it helps, please do draw a number line or use a virtual number line to help you to work out the answers. Okay, moving on then, let's have a look. So we're moving on to thousands now, exactly the same way you could draw your number line. Just make sure when you do it, you, you're labeling hundredths at the 10 centimeter intervals this time. Um, you can copy the one on the screen, of course, or if you've got a printout, you could use the one there. Okay, so exactly the same way then, we're looking at thousandths now. So what we're saying is, what is a thousandth more than 0 0.012? Well, I've got 0 0.01, that little trick I'm showing you just to put the zero on, you can see the relationship then. One, 0 0.012 is there, and the next one is going to be 0 0.013, okay? So it works in exactly the same way, but obviously we've got, um, we've moved everything down a column. And then a thousandth less than 0 0.027, well, we're going this way along the number line, it's going to be 0 0.026. Okay, number four then. If you're happy with using a number line for comparing decimals, you can pause the screen here and then work through number four and then come back for your answers. If you're still unsure, if you leave the video rolling, I'll show you how you can use a place value grid to help you to work out the answers. And then when you're ready, you can pause and try the rest before coming back for the answers. Okay, let's have a look then, 4a. What number is 0 0.1 more than 1.2? So I can look at this on a number line and I can say, well, here's my number line. Uh, these are tenths because 10 make up a whole one. And I want 0 0.1 more than 1.2. So first of all, I need to find 1.2. I've got 1, 1.1. 1.2, and I want to go one tenth more, so the answer is going to be 1.3. Okay, let's look at the next one. What number is 0 0.1 less than 0 0.9? Now I can use the same number line because 0 0.9 is going to be here, and one tenth less, so I'm going in this direction, is going to be 0 0.8. Okay. Uh, number three, 0 0.2 more than 8.7. Right, so this time I'm doing two tenths. 8.7 is here on my number line. 0 0.2 more means I'm going to go two tenths up the number line. So I'm going to be here, which is 8.7, 8.8, 8.9. there. And then number four, 0 0.5 less than 4.9. So let's find 4.9 first. Oops, here's 4.9. And then 0 0.5 less than, so I'm going five tenths back along the number line. One, two, three, four, five is going to be here, which is 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4 4.4. So, Look at B then, I'm going to do B in a slightly different way. I'm going to do it using a place value grid and drawing the numbers. Okay, so if you prefer to do this to a number line, you can do. So I'm going to have ones, tenths, hundredths and thousandths. Okay, what number is 0 0.01 more than 0 0.15? Well, let's build the number 0 0.15 first. I don't need any whole ones, I need one tenth, so I'll draw a little circle, and I need five hundredths. One, two, three, four, five. Of course, if you've got some equipment at home, counters or uh, Lego or anything like that, you could use this 
and actually physically build it. Okay, what number is 0 0.01 more? So that's one hundredth more. So I just add a hundredth in and I've now got the number 0 0.16. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. What number is 0 0.01 less than 0 0.29? Well, let's build 0 0.29. There's no whole ones, two tenths and nine hundredths. And we've got to go one hundredth less than, so I'm gonna cross one out. So that leaves us with 0 0.28. Okay, and then we'll do these in the same way. 0 0.02 more than 6.24. So let's build 6.24 first. So six whole ones, two tenths, and four hundredths, like that. And I want two hundredths more. So I'll put two more in the hundredths column. And that gives us a number 6.26. And then last one. 0 0.04 less than 7.16. So let's build 7.16 first. 7.16, seven whole ones, one tenth, six hundredths. And we want four hundredths less. So I'm just gonna cross out four of those hundredths and that leaves us with 7.12. Okay, let's have a look at this last one then, thousandths. I'm just going to put the answers for this one. So, one thousandth more than 0 0.215 is 0 0.216. A thousandth less than 0 0.424 is 0 0.423. Two thousandths more than 4.015 is 4.017. And five thousandths less than 3.147 is 3.142. Okay, how did you get on? So you've looked, we've looked at two different ways of doing it then. We've looked at using a number line. We've looked at using a place value grid. Either of those are absolutely fine to help you with these questions. Okay, number five. So what we're doing now is we're looking at putting some decimals into a number sequence. So if you have a look here, we've got 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 1.0. So what we're doing each time is we're adding on two tenths or 0 0.2. So the pattern is we add 0 0.2 to get to the next number. What are the next two decimals? Can you have a think what would come next? Okay, hopefully you said that if we keep on adding 0 0.2 on, and again, I could build one and then add two tenths on each time. we should have 1.2 and 1.4. Let's have a look at number six. This time, we've got 1.12, 1.17, 1.22, 1 1.27, 1.32. So this time, if you have a look what's changing each time, we're getting 500 bigger each time. So we need to keep going. Can you tell me what the next two decimals are going to be? Okay, hopefully you've spotted. It's going to be 1.37 and 1.42, okay? And number seven, this time we're doing some thousandths um, changes. And if you look very carefully, you can see that this time the numbers are getting smaller. So we must be taking something away each time. 1.464, 1.462, that's two thousandths less. So it's two thousandths less each time. So can you tell me what the next two decimals are going to be? Okay, so hopefully you said they're going to be 1.454 and 1.452. Okay, over to you now then. There was quite a lot in today's video. Um, if you need to go back and watch again, have a little practice. You're doing practice four today. So for lots of this, the number line has been, has been drawn for you, which is helpful. Okay, and if you do finish and you've still got some more time or you just want some more practice, there's an extension there for you. And I'll be back tomorrow with all your answers.